Hey everyone, Jay here, and we're going to install iOS 11 beta on this iPad Mini 4. This is currently running iOS 10.3.3, and I ran 3D Mark Slingshot, iStorm, and Tudu Benchmark and Geekbench 4 on this iOS version. I wanted to see if there's going to be a big increase or even worse, a lower change in in the scores for these benchmarks once we switch over to iOS 11. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure to back up your tablet. I can skip over to the next step and that's opening Safari and going to the Apple beta software program. There you go, beta.apple.com slash sp slash beta program. You can sign up for this using your Apple ID I'm already a member so I'm gonna sign in so this will pop up it'll ask you to verify your identity and usually it'll load it on your other um, Apple device alright so we're in guide for public betas this is their home page or their landing page for the iOS beta and it just kinda goes over what iOS 11 is all about and tells you how to get started and once again back up your device so now what we're gonna do is enroll device and then download the profile right here allow it to download this will pop up install this profile and then type in your code and then you can go ahead and install the iOS um, beta profile restart required go ahead and restart it alright so now that we've restarted the device just go to settings go ahead and go to software update and there it is iOS 11 public beta 5 we can download and install right away. After the download, the tablet will restart and install the new operating system. Alright, so update completed. Your iPad was updated successfully. There are just a few steps to follow and then you're done. Alright, so it's going to ask you to log in. And now it's saying updating iCloud settings. And advertisement for iCloud app analytics you can use to share your activity or not alright so this is a little tutorial of how to access the dock the person just flicks up to show the dock that one drags to the middle to kind of minimize this the window and let's give it a try actually so this is how it looks. You have the dock right here. Let's open up an app. So one of the key features that some of the iPads can do, I say some because the older iPad minis can't do this, is multitasking. So what I mean by that is you have an app open, you swipe up and then you can drag another one either as an overlay or just like that as a side-by-side -side split screen of course this would look a lot nicer on the bigger size tablets so there it is you can do quadrants you can also change sides and when you open it up it saves those two apps that are open together another thing is this um, so that would save that window and then you can open up another window swipe up and there it is what you can do is swipe up to get rid of these and then these are your main controls right here your control board so that increase the brightness let me lower that down a little bit and then this is the volume you have your airplane mode airdrop let me turn that off Wi-Fi Bluetooth um, your 
do not this silent mode do not disturb um, what is this this is a timer and the last one was your camera another one that you can also add is screen recording so go to settings go to control set uh, control center customize controls and add right over here screen recording so screen recorder the name says it all if you're familiar with fraps shadow play screencast cam studio all of those can do screen recording and the moment I press this it'll do a countdown it's actually recording everything as you can see the red bar here everything that I'm doing all the swipes even if I open up an app like the settings here and I can click that red bar click stop that'll be saved under my photos and here it is you can go ahead and play as a video file very very cool alright so that's screen recording another thing you can do on screen recording is hold this and right over here I'm blocking it but it says microphone audio off so if I turn that on it's on and then I do start, or start recording it does the countdown and everything I'm doing everything I'm saying is also recorded so as I said earlier I'm gonna test these four and post the results from 10.3.3 versus iOS 11 beta so yeah, here it is check it out So as you can see the scores fluctuated a little bit but we do have to remember that iOS 11 is still in beta stage and this may not be representative of the final scores. Um, another thing to, to note is you know once we get the full-blown iOS 11 version these apps would be updated and optimized to run on that machine. So that's it for my video. Hopefully it was helpful to some of you. Thanks for watching. See ya.